All right, we're at Broad Ripple in Indian, Indiana, sort of like an Indianapolis north of. So, um, just thought it might be fun. Hey, uh, let's check it out or something. I don't know. Could be fun. Could be a complete mistake. Let's find out. We're having to do this whole parking nightmare. Wait a minute. Finally get it? Yeah. Nice. Well, this is definitely cool. Got your record? But there's a limited number of wheels in the country. Yeah, it's limited edition. It's a pink vinyl. So here's Broad Ripple's main drag. We were just in. Wait a minute, let's give it a plug. And you see the invite them. Maybe one day they'll let me in to shoot them a little bit. And now we're uh, just kind of walking down the street. We haven't even eaten yet. Yeah, I'm starving. Well, that'll be fun too. There's the Mine Shaft Saloon, which isn't doing business. Oh, look at they got the tables are barrel tops. That's kind of neat. Average Joe's, which is a sports pub. That the last time we were here, this was all open, wasn't it? Yeah. We were thinking about food, right? But um, Broad Ripple seems to be the, the places that are the highest rated on Yelp. Not that I freaking use Yelp, but um, are all bars. And I don't know. She's, she's in uh, Starbucks Bliss right now. I don't mind going to a bar. <clears throat> yeah, but they're, they tend to be priced like TGI Fridays or something. You know, not as bad as the burger place we were looking at. It was like $8.90 just for the burger. I'm sorry, but um, I better need a cigarette after that burger. What do you think? I don't know. Um, so we're gonna try to find a place to eat. Broad Ripple was awesome. I scored a bunch of record albums. I'll, I'll do a big reveal in a little bit, in a little while. Um, like not now. Later. Later! Not now. <laughs> anyway, they're about to tow us, so we're gonna move. Hey, what's up, everyone? So, we went to Broad Ripple today. Um, good times. Um... We went to uh, CD, we went to Indie CD and Vinyl, and uh, I got something that I figured, well, I should do a reveal, because I've never done one of those, and uh, um, it seems like it would be a, a pretty cool idea to do, and then show you some other goodies we scored as well. So, I'm going to take a look at these records that I got. This is uh, what they, they do, a surprise grab bag, and there can be... Some really good stuff, and then some not so great stuff. They admitted some of the stuff is like, we couldn't give this away. <laughs> so, we give it away. <laughs> Which is kind of ironic when you actually think about it. But anyway, they said there's always a really good selection in there. Maybe even two. So, we're going to take a look at what I actually got and see how it uh, pans out. So... All right. So, let's have a look. Well, the first one that I got here is Brass Construction. Which I gotta be honest, I've never heard of them. United Artists Records. Vinyl's in decent shape. I'd call it good condition anyway. 
this will be an interesting listen if it's anything like this next one that I spotted underneath Tower of Power now this is kind of cool because my dad when I was growing up in the late 80s early 90s he had this on CD um, live and in living color they're an Oakland funk group and um, I think they're most known for um, what was the name of that song you're still a young man because um, it was like it was like one of those slow grooves that people kind of dug from the 70s and again this one um, wow in remarkable shape the last song of course uh, on the record is like 23 minutes long so it takes up like the whole side B it's kind of cool though that's neat so I know I'll like that one because of you know heard it before the persuade the pers persuaders again uh, I mean they're on Atlantic so I have this feeling let's see bass drums guitar this is gonna be a little bit jazzy I think because I'm seeing vibes tambourine and synthesizer congas mandolin alto sax uh, saxophone trumpet this might be a surprise good one I don't know you know I'm an eclectic so I'll try anything once again vinyls in really good shape a credit to uh, indie CD and vinyl so that's cool ah the best of Donny Hathaway Includes the single, You Were Meant For Me. Now, this is 1973, so we weren't quite into disco yet. So I might be safe on this one. I'm, I'm because this is, this particular mixed bag was um, soul and funk. When you get into the later 70s, a lot of that stuff, uh, a lot of disco gets miscategorized as being soul and funk, and it isn't. It's disco. I don't care who you are, disco is disco. Record's in really good shape, though it doesn't seem to have a jacket. Oh, it does have a jacket, it's just not in the jacket. Okay, cool. Oh, man. The 80s live. <laughs> Billy Ocean, suddenly. <laughs> only song I know off of here is Caribbean Queen big staple of the 80s Wow it's an okay song I mean I'm not gonna lie uh, it's not one of my favorites from the 80s but it's it's okay um, unfortunately supermarkets across the planet Walmart included uh, they play Caribbean Qu Queen a little too frequently that's kind of like oversaturated they're like oh this doesn't offend anybody let's let's play this so that's kind of what that song is hey and number five you get five records by the way in a bag which is really cool Ronnie Laws with some guy's name on it looks like it says Ronald K Benson Ronald I got your record <laughs> Ronnie Laws this uh, is 1976. Oh, we're getting into dangerous territory now. We're getting close to the late 70s. <sighs> Looks like he's a saxophone player, though. And this is on Blue Note. Well, that's good, because Blue Note is actually a respectable label. So, all right, so that's the grab bag. Now, these are $3.33. They have them for rock and pop, uh, jazz, kids they seem to have like four of them for kids from four packs that nobody had bought or whatever um, I didn't then they have ones that are just random I was terrified of that I mean I might you know wind up with uh, aqua or somebody you know find out that Barbie girl was actually released on 12 inch that would be tragic all right now this is something my wife got that this this is one of those albums that if you see it over here and you know the style and you like it just get it
because if you don't, you're going to regret every decision you've made up until that point in your life. And you'll be like, well, I should go hang myself in the toilet. No, well, maybe that's a bit dramatic, but um, my wife had this special order, and um, <clears throat> there's nothing here about what the weight is, but it is a new release. It's on Cleopatra. It's the 69 Cats, which is kind of like Gothabilly. And uh, these are covers. For instance, they do Sunglasses After Dark, People Are Strange, The Doors, come on. Uh, sweet Transvestite. Anyone? Anyone? Uh, that would be Rocky Horror Picture Show. Werewolves of London. Warren Zivon. And uh, I think there's one on here that's original, 69 Eyes. And then, of course, the perennial goth favorite, Bella Lugosi's Dead. If you're an elder goth. If you're not an elder goth, you just, like, listen to what you want to. But elder goths are, are kind of strict music musictarians. So that, that was... And I got one other thing. Um... I got myself a copy of um, King Crimson. Uh, they were a progressive rock group, R, I should say, um, that originally surfaced in the 1970s. Um, very interesting, kind of experimental. Um, I like them. I don't think my wife's is into them. But uh, I enjoy their music a lot, and I got their two-disc live set from 74, two different shows. That's in the car because I was listening to it, so that's not there. But that was our day. As far as Broad Ripple goes, um, Broad Ripple's okay. Broad Ripple is... I guess my biggest complaint about Broad, Broad Ripple is the p lack of parking. There's just total lack of parking. And then, if you go to Broad Ripple, Indiana, and you're a tourist, let me say this. Download the parking app. Do not try to pay at one of the pay stations because they don't work unless you use cash. They're supposed to use credit, but it never does. And if it does work, it's way too complicated for people to be messing with, and the town should totally rethink the idea because it frankly sucks. Well, that's it. That's my big reveal. Hope you enjoyed it. Love, peace, and hair grease. Ciao, baby.